Alright, in today's video we are going to talk about the bow for Monster Hunter World. Uh, I should probably equip a bow and some armor that actually does something with the bow. That probably would be good. Um, okay, let me edit. Yeah. Alright, uh, so we need something that deals with bow like uh, piercing shots or um, you know, that kind of thing. <clears throat> uh, or uh, poison coating would be a good one. Uh, weakness exploit is also decent, but I would rather have the others. Uh, mounter, attack boost, speed eating. Uh, ammo up isn't necessarily a bad one. But you have to have quite a bit. And free element um, pertains to the hidden element of the weapon. And the way that you can tell whether it's hidden or not... Uh, let me let me go over here and I'll I'll explain. So on a lot of these you'll see, you know, the attack power, the sharpness, the affinity, and the element. Now most of the time the element will be in white or green, and that means that you get that element every time you hit the monster. But if you move to one that say says element dragon 540 like this one in parentheses and elder seal high also and they're all gray that means that it's a hidden element so you would have to wear a uh, free element and you would have to wear one of these weapons in order to benefit from that hidden uh, that hidden element there so say I equip you know well, let's find a bow that does it um, since this movie's about, or movie, haha! Uh, since this video is about bows, let's find a bow that has a hidden element. There's one that has hidden dragon element. Um, and there's another hidden dragon element. So, of course, we're going to go with the one that has more. Well, no. Um, we'll go with the one that has slightly less damage, but a higher Elder Seal. All right, so we equip our bow here. That's a fine-looking bow. That's a weird-looking bow. All right, nonetheless, it is a bow with a hidden element. Okay, so now what we need to do is find... Uh, let's look at that armor again. Which will... I can't remember which one it was. Um, where the hell? Where'd it go? There it is. It's the uh, Zitsuyaku headgear. So we'll wear that. It looks ridiculous, but it's actually not too bad. Sort by rarity. Now we need the... Now we need some armor that also gives us free element. So let's look through here. There's free element, and that's the Gyros mail, but let's see if we can find the ZC. Uh, Puke. Okay. Um, actually, I might, it might be the other one. Um, offensive guard. Uh, okay, so we might have to go with, um, Where to go? We might have to go with. Christ, I am really bad at finding this stuff. That special ammo is not going to help any. Um, okay, so we need free element. <clears throat> so we'll go through until we find a free element armor. Oh, okay. Uh, free element, free element, free element. Uh, quick sheath isn't a bad option, but we want free element. Special ammo up. There's free element. So we'll take the death stench armor again and we want to see if we can get some more free element 
Um, may not happen on gloves, but we'll take a quick look through here. That's free meal. Okay. Oh, so it only activates the quarter time. I don't want it then. I'm making no money in this game. Uh, there's our third free element, which is going to be the Garros Mail. Um, which I think was this as well. So let me see if I can find it. Because I'd rather wear the Garros Mail. It's nicer. There. Let's switch that. Oh! Crap! Nope, go back. Alright, uh, okay, so we have our free element. Uh, what we need now is to see if we can find something with piercing shots. Uh, now, this is a little more about gear setup, but it will help you in the long run. Trust me. Don't remember what latent power does. Uh, okay, latent power's not too bad. Uh, also a good option if you're, you know, running status. Uh, poison resistance, quick sheet, paralysis, weak hunger, x uh, wider, uh, what does the right range do? Items affecting by Alex. Okay, so that's more like a hunting horn thing. Uh, so we'll pass that by. Um, I would really like to find one with piercing shots, because that would be really good. There's only a few that actually have that. Power uh, of perform Okay, so that's not going to help us any. Uh, what's peak performance do? Nope. Um, piercing shots, anybody? Wants to buy piercing shots? Can I have piercing shots for 500, Alex? Uh, part breaker. Windproof. Windproof wouldn't be bad. Uh, there's piercing shots. Okay, so we'll go with Grass Soul. Let me show you what piercing shots does. Increases the power of piercing ammo and dragon piercer, which is what you're using on your bow. So it looks like Wrath Soul, maybe? Um, okay, so we need to find something else with piercing shots because Wrath Soul only gives us one out of two. Uh, so let's see if we can find one real quick, and if not, then we'll just go with the next uh, decent one that comes along. Critical draw, no, that's not going to help us. That's more for melee. Free meal, not going to help us, not going to help us, not going to help us. Handicraft does absolutely zero for bows, bow guns, light bow gun, um, hunting horn, you know, anything that has a, it doesn't have a sharpness really. Um, capacity boost. Shell capacity and charge blaze file. Okay, so it doesn't do anything for both. Not interested. Move along. Oh, Jesus, critical eye has a lot of... Okay, um... Let's see if we can find a good one here. I still really would like piercing shots because it's pretty good. Um... But we may not find one on the legs. Uh, so let's flip through here real quick. Jump master weakness exploit. Quick sheath. Windproof. Quick sheath wouldn't be bad. Um, yeah, it, quick sheath is good when you have all of them. And I don't think we're going to find another piercing shots. Which is sad. Because... It's a good, it's a good skill. Um, yeah, no, we're not going to find one. Okay, so we go back to page six, or page one. We find a good um, part damage plus 20. Uh, that wouldn't be bad. Part breaker would be good. Uh, sluggers for KOing, yeah. Uh, Thunder res, con, earplugs. We might keep the earplugs because that's going to save us quite a bit. Um, we're using dragon, so ice attack doesn't matter. Now, if we could get like earplugs and windproof, that would be great. I doubt we're going to find that, but. Uh, windproof and speed sharpening. Useless. Handicraft. Useless. Uh, don't need any of that. Um, we already have one of those. Okay. 
Yeah, I think our uh, <clears throat> I think our options are a bit limited here as far as boots, and that's kind of always the way that it goes. So uh, what we can do is just grab a you know grab something that's universally decent. Um, uh, why don't we go with attack boost and stamina surge? And I'm wearing a loincloth. Okay. Uh, moving on. Earplugs charm. Yada yada yada. Bow. Okay. So, to start with the bow. Uh, a little bit about the bow. Let's go uh, in depth here. That way everybody can be sure to get the most out of this video as humanely possible. Uh, the bow is a very simple weapon. <coughs> Uh, now, you can look at the skills, as I had mentioned in my previous videos, if you go to Weapon Controls, and you choose Bow, it will tell you the basic controls and the basic combos. So you have crosshairs, so like left trigger, obviously, to aim, right trigger to shoot and charge your shot, B is your special shot, Y plus B is your dragon piercer, which is like your special uh, you can hold down left, left mouse button, hit X, or I'm sorry, um, yeah, A or Y to scroll through your coatings, and then when you let go of all that and hit Y, it applies to the coating. So some of your u useful, <clears throat> some of your useful combos are arc shot, power shot, and combo shot into a thousand dragons. So, <clears throat> Thousand Dragons is a little harder to do. Uh, I will try to do it at the end of the video, just so everybody can see it. Um, so, you draw your weapon. You select your coating, whichever that may be. Now, bows... Oh, I forgot to mention. Bows can only use certain coatings. So if we go to, I have to go to our stupid box. All right, so we go back to the box. We manage our equipment. We go to our bow section. So the bow that I have equipped right now, called Dawning Insight, can only use sleep coating, power coating, and close range coating, or no coating. If you move over, you'll see that this bow, Xenomatora, can use close range, power, poison, and blast coating. If we move over again, we see that Fate's Thread can only use close range, power, and poison. If we move down, we can see that some of these other ones, like Ruinous Doom, can only use close range and power. So you are limited on what coatings you can use depending on which bow you're using. So our bow that we are using right now can only use close-up sleep and power. <clears throat> so let's apply a coating. We draw our bow. We've got our coating that we want there that works just like the item bar beneath it. But instead, you use Y and A to cycle through. You know, as you would use B and X to go through your items. So we got our bow drawn. Now this can only be done when the bow is drawn. If you, you know, you've got it on the coating that you want, you tap Y, and it applies to the coating. And you can switch this at any time. Say you want to go to sleep. Now you're on sleep. If you want to go to power, now you're on power coating. Want to go back to close range. Now you're on close range again. So you can do that at any time you want as long as your weapon is drawn. So the left trigger will aim. <clears throat> now there's a little reticle that is orange with a, you know, it's got a faint orange ring on the outside and then a brighter pulsating ring on the inside. Now this reticle tells you whether you're in range or not. If I slowly back up and it turns yellow, that is the maximum range that I can fire to do any damage. Now if I back up some more, You'll notice that it says out of range, and if you fire, it doesn't hit anything. It does no damage. But if we move just in range, charge up a shot, it still hits. 
But if we go all the way to orange, charge up a shot and fire, it does the maximum amount of damage possible. Plus, we're using close range coating. Now, if we use power coating, this changes. So, one shot with power coating. We'll back up to yellow. One shot at yellow with power coating. And then, again, out of range, it hits nothing. So you do have to be at least, let's see, say the, you know, the pillar is our mob there. Oh, we're out of range. So you do have to be at least that far from the monster to be able to hit it. Um, all right, now let's talk about, you know, the attacks. That's the more interesting part. So, say you're going along, you're fighting, you know, you have your normal charge shot. You can charge to a max of two. It does take down your da your uh, stamina to charge and fire your shots. So, as you notice, as I'm charging the shot, my stamina is going down. And the longer that I hold the bow, it just keeps straining. Now, you can move while you're doing this. And it doesn't matter how long after the second charge you hold your arrow, it will not do any more damage. So, you know, say you've got a stun monster and you want to unleash a pretty decent combo. You charge, fire B. So as soon as you loose your arrow from the charge shot, you tap B and it will do that sideways spread. Now, I let go of the reticle. I let go of the aiming when I do it. I probably shouldn't. But you can, you know, keep your finger on the aim trigger just to make sure that you're going to hit what you need to. Now, uh, because I let go so quickly, it, that has caused me to miss shots. So if your character is pointing this way and you do this, you know, see how it went off to the side there because I let go and my character swerved a little bit. Yep, see it went off to that side, and I wasn't, I didn't even move. So, you want to be wary of that, because it can cause you to miss your combos. So another interesting little thing, and it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's kind of neat, is if you charge your shot, and while bow triggers are down, you tap B, it will unleash a little barrage of spikes, something or other, like, I don't really know what they are, um, you know. But if you got like a a stun monster or an exhausted monster, and you want a little bit of consistent damage with an element, you can just fire that off, and it'll clap, 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 clap. You know, just plink away at him. All right. So dragon piercer. Dragon piercer is also aimed, so you need to hold down the aim trigger as you do this. Now, for dragon piercer, you will simultaneously hit Y and B, both together. And you don't have to hold them, you can just let it go after that. But that's what it does. So we're dealing a total of 59 damage with it. That doesn't seem like a lot, I know. Um, let me go change the uh, equipment in here because I think it's... That pillar seems to have a really small hitbox. <coughs> so let's change it to something with a wider hitbox. That way you can see what it actually does. Alright, I will pick this up because I'm going to try to do the uh, thing. Alright, so Dragon Piercer. That was a normal shot. Sorry. Dragon Piercer. Here we go. That's Dragon Piercer. Alright, so now we're going to try the combo shot in 2000 Dragons. Now, I've only been able to successfully do this a couple of times, and I think it was on accident. So, we're going to try this. Yeah, I can't. This is really difficult. Okay, so it's right trigger fire, A, left trigger right stick, left button, or left trigger Y, B. So, right trigger, 
a... See, I don't understand how it's... That doesn't do anything. Okay, that's thousand dragons, or thousand needles, or thousand dragons, okay. So what you have to do for thousand dragons, and you don't have to combo the shot, you can just do it. Uh, you'll have to have more stinger ammo, because I believe that uses all of it. Or slinger ammo, not stinger ammo. Uh, Alright, so you can do it without the beginning combo. So if you want a better one than just... Dragon Piercer, you can left trigger right stick, left trigger YB. So, and you have to do it really quickly. There we go. And there's your thousand dragons. It's kind of tricky. Uh, you could probably reassign the buttons or keys if you needed to to make that a little easier for you. Uh, I probably will. So let's do it one more time. That's left trigger plus right stick. Now keep in mind it's pressing down the right stick not moving it so left trigger right stick and then left trigger yb and that's thousand dragons <clears throat> so there's your uh tutorial for the bow and there are many different shapes and sizes of bows i think my favorite one is probably my favorite looking one, anyway. Let me see if I can find it here. Um, I know it's in here. I used it just the other day. I mean, this one, to be fair, is pretty freaking awesome. This is um, the Doom one. This is the one that's made out of... Uh, I don't even know what to say about this. It's just ridiculous. I wonder how cool this looks with... Uh, thousand dragons we're gonna we're gonna try because i want to see it so we'll go grab some more slinger ammo and draw a bow we'll do our combo now that's regular still looks pretty cool but that's not what i wanted i wanted that's not what i wanted either I need it to do the combo, so it's... Nope. I think it's because I'm not... Change a monster's course. Okay. Let me... Draw a bow. There we go. That's about the same, but... It looks cool. Uh, but my favorite bow of all time, just to finish this video off, is going to be... Uh, let me see if I can find it here. This one. Deora's Tuxotis. Why? Because it's a freaking horse. It is a bow that is also a horse. It's kind of weird. It looks kind of clunky, but... It's freaking neat. I mean, nobody can deny it. You're running around shooting things with a horse. Alrighty, so that is how the bow works. <clears throat> so keep in mind, coatings so that it's able to use, uh, hidden elements, you know, that you may need to wear different armors for to bring out. Um, keep in mind the range and practice, practice, practice. You can be very fast with a bow, uh, but it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of practice to sit there and know when the monster is going to run by you, so you, when it stops to turn around, do that, get out of the way, and you can also do that, yeah, I forgot to mention that, that's just a little quick shot, um, you can do it right out of, instead of having to draw and then fire, you can, from sheath, hit right trigger, and it will draw and fire a little tiny arrow. So you can do that. Um, it's usually not worth it, except when you have to move really quickly. So you... There you go. 
and you roll away. So you're running, and you got to turn around, and there you go. Run away, turn around, and there you go. So that's how the bow works. Keep those things in mind. Happy hunting. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, uh, leave them down below, and I will get back to you uh, as I can. Thank you so much for watching.